Welcome to Quits Gaming. My name is Silvermord, and we are playing Orion Trail, which uh, is another amazing game jolt game. Uh, there are four resources. Run out of any one, and you're in trouble. Mission determine what resources get you a score bonus. Try to maximize that resource. Uh, each encounter that that is Grumpy Cat. Several choices with the chance to gain and lose resources. Sometimes you'll know which one. Sometimes you won't. Your captain, ship, and officers each add to a total stats. Look for that stat symbol next to each choice. That stat will be added to your roll. All right. So it ship shape or fuel to be kind. So it's basically Oregon Trail, but in space. Uh. Offering glory and rarities that bring corpious amounts of food. Okay. Choose your captain. Loyal, passionate, calculating. Chaotic, ethereal, hardworking. Wise, patient, decisive. <laughs> Hello, Spock. To the stars. Epoch Hawk. Parang Mothership or Quantum Goliath. Ooh. Well, don't I need more food? I think it was more food I needed. Choose your officers. Ah, she's hungry though. It's all of a quick witted, pure hearted monkey person. Yeah! Choose your officers. But meek, afraid, clumsy, unaware, disappointing, exacting, effective, crude. Okay, well, apparently that one always sucks. <gasps> the ship's computer! Oh, I'm torn between the ship's computer and Lieutenant Corpus Yar. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Oh no! Uh, after investigating a nebula, a number of your crew start to become ill. Their skin turns green and they soon start sprouting tentacles from everywhere. The ship's doctor recommends quarantining them. Mmm. Put them in the airlock. Crew starts to transform into tentacle beasts just as they reach the airlocks. Fortunately, your security is more than equipped to handle the situation. After the battle, you order the remains disposed of. Incidentally, there are now free tacos in the mess hall. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> it's adorable! I love you, Warp Weasel. I want a warp weasel now. Your ship is infested with warp weasels. The departments are all arguing over who should take care of the problem. Once everyone has a say, you consider your options. Deploy droids to avoid loss of life. Use predator type of weasel. No! Domesticate the warp weasels. You give the order, revealing the confused expressions of the faces of your crew. These weasels are far more cunning than you predicted. Damn it. Your attempts to placate them are met with bites and chittering. In the end, only a handful of the vermin obey your commands, and the meeting chambers are in ruins. Oh, but... But the... The warp weasels... They're so lovely. The young and the clueless. Image unavailable. Oh, this is a Kickstarter, by the way. You are called in to handle crew drama. Apparently, Tad and Alexis have been fighting. Dakota found out and made her move. Now Alexis is a mess, and Tad threatened your transporter engineer, Skylar. Create an algorithm to solve crew drama. Let Dakota know she needs to fix this. Beat up Tad. Wow. You don't have time for this nonsense. You begin to craft a mathematical solution for future crew drama. 
The principles of logic appear to melt in the fiery crucible of your cruise cosmic drama. Nothing can be done. There is no escape from the petty jealousy that pervade your vessel. Defeated, you have a snack. Hmm. That person is like jamming away at bottom left. Galactic War Zone. You made it to the vast and perilous Vesper Nebula. An endless battle between the Taco Shans, a chili powder people, and the Oculoids, a minor eyeball squid federation, rages across the nebula. Chili powder people. Hmm. Try to negotiate a ceasefire. Collect scrap with your electromagnet. Ignite the nebula gases. Uh... The negotiations are tense, but you eventually reach an agreement. The Taco Shans cater a ce celebratory ceasefire luncheon aboard your ship, but the ocular leader has a violent allergic reaction that levels your bio lab. You sign and begin to box the leftovers. Well, that sucks. For some reason, I'd like to note that because of the setting, like the, the, my science is completely like cut off. Regardless, the way forward is obscured by an endlessly churning cosmic storm. Green light pulses and flashes from within the thick, vibrant clouds. How will you proceed? Use faster than light travel to outrun the lightning strikes. Try to harness the storm's power. Coat the ship in highly conductive nutri paste. Well, I hate to say it, but my best bet is probably tactics because of, you know, the fact I have eight already. Your officers cringe as you enter the storm and are instantly struck by lightning. But you're okay. It worked even better. Engineering reports that it strikes are charging the power conduits and the nutri paste has hardened into a grade six armor. You've outdone yourself. Orion's Buckle. You've reached the asteroid field known as Orion's Buckle. Today it appears dense with asteroids of all shapes and sizes. Crossing won't be easy. Anything could happen in there. Engineer a compound to dissolve asteroids. Blast the asteroids out of the way. Convince ship to go through with you. Oh, ships to go through with you. Well, my attack's pretty good, so... 24. You careen... You careen into the field, firing at anything with a crater. Each asteroid bursts into a shower of dust and fire that light up the whole sector. Your engineering team marvels at the combustion reactions caused by your reckless romp and start to brainstorm. Alien science vessel? Oh no. The sensors detect a highly advanced alien science vessel up ahead. They seem to be conducting invasive and elaborate scans of your ship. You make a note to change your password and prepare to take action. Hail them and clear your throat loudly. I get it. It's just like... <clears throat> <laughs> Disrupt their unwelcome scans or give them a nice missile to scan. You activate the anti-targeting computer and put a stop to the scans before they learn too much. It worked perfectly. Amazed by your actions, the aliens propose a trade. Your scan disruptor for a top-of-the-line organism cloner. It's a deal. You begin cloning your crew in order of attractiveness when you get distracted and try to clone your dinner. It works, but it broke. Not the best captain, am I? I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. The ship's computer informs you that it has achieved true artificial intelligence that explains that it has learned all it can from the ship and requests your permission to leave, taking one of the ship's shuttles with it. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, why not? You have a quiet conversation while staring into a distant nebula and give it the shuttle I requested. 
computer seems moved by your genuine or calculated empathy. It tells you that if it could hug you, it totally would. As the AI flies off with the shuttle, it sends you a location of several fuel caches it noticed while leaving the solar system. Uh oh. Alien intruder? Why does he have a Donald Duck or Fines and Ferbs hat? Internal centers detect an alien presence suddenly aboard your ship and has given no indication of its intentions. Uh, yes. Alien mistakes your scans for a form of welcome. It gleefully upgrades your engines in a bid to make them more efficient. It is a pity that the alien had no idea what it was doing. Now your engines burn twice as fast and produce vanilla custard. Hey, I, I got food. I'm happy. I love my captain right there, just sitting there silently judging. Your communication officer tells you that you are being hailed by an unknown vessel floating in deep space. A shady figure appears on the hollow screen, offering a barter with you in exchange for some fuel. Hmm. For fuel in exchange for food. Shady figure seems upset that he can't get you a better deal. Eventually he agrees on what you assume is a fair trade and speeds off. I'm out of fuel! Uh, I guess I should have changed the window settings. I seriously cannot see, like, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing. So I had no idea that I was running out of fuel. I can't see. Anyway, well. Oh, I failed my mission. I had a lot of scrap. Huh. Maybe I'll try this again on a different uh, setting. Until then, thank you for joining me on Quits Gaming.